Hai, halo semuanya. Selamat sore. Selamat berjumpa lagi dengan saya, Melinda Putri Wismuti, Festival Co Director dari Europe Oscar 2023. Hari ini, sore ini kita akan ngobrol uh, bersama dengan uh, Veronika Sejolnowska dari uh, Festival New Horizons International Film Festival di Polandia yang merupakan salah satu festival uh, film internasional yang terbesar di Polandia. Sorry ya agak gelap sedikit karena sudah mau sore di sini. Kebetulan saya masih di rumah orang tua saya karena dalam masa uh, lebaran. Um, buat teman-teman sekalian yang ingin bertanya silakan bisa bertanya nanti dalam bahasa Indonesia walaupun kita ngobrol dalam bahasa Inggris. Cuma sambil uh, kita tunggu Mbak uh, Veronya untuk untuk datang. Jadi Mbak Veronika Zonowska ini dia berasal dari Poland dan dia bekerja sebagai head of industry events di uh, New Horizons International Film Festival. Itu adalah salah satu international film festival yang uh, cukup lama dan terbesar di Polandia dan juga uh, termasuk salah satu festival film terbesar juga di Eropa. Sebentar saya coba uh, Invite dulu. Sebentar ya, uh, sambil menunggu mbaknya. Uh, saya juga ingin uh, mengucapkan bahwa teman-teman yang mau ikutan di Short Film Pitching Project Europe On Screen 2023, silakan uh, kita buruan langsung dikirimkan pertanyaan, uh, didaftarkan ide-ide ceritanya, jadi bisa langsung uh, kita cek. Nanti ada tim kami yang akan mengecek semua cerita ide yang masuk dan akan ditutup pada akhir bulan ini ya tanggal 30 April 2023. Jadi silakan untuk um, mengirimkan ide-ide kalian. Oke okay, sebentar. So yeah, sorry. Aku lagi berusaha uh, mengajarkan caranya Instagram Live bersama ke Mbak Veronikanya karena kebetulan dia kita juga uh, bingung karena ternyata belum bisa nyambung untuk Instagram Live-nya. Jadi buat teman-teman yang uh, ingin bertanya untuk uh, program short film pitching project boleh banget. Pokoknya saya bahas itu dulu kali ya. Yes, jadi buat teman-teman tadi ada yang bertanya soal short film pitching project uh, untuk Europe On Screen 2023 uh, Kemarin ada pertanyaan yang bertanya apakah kalau Uh, saya orang Indonesia tapi tinggalnya di luar negeri apakah saya boleh mendaftar uh, kalau menurut uh, menurut kami uh, silakan saja selama selama nanti produksinya yakin akan dilakukan di Indonesia dan juga melibatkan uh, 
teman-teman atau kru uh, pembuat film dari Indonesia. Jadi uh, kalau misalnya masih di luar negeri saat ini, tapi oh ternyata kita baru mau akan produksi akhir tahun ini dan memang rencananya produksinya di misalnya di Cirebon gitu. Dan semua semua produksi dilakukan di Indonesia itu sih nggak masalah kalau walaupun kalian uh, tinggalnya masih di uh, misalnya masih di Singapura atau masih di luar negeri tidak apa-apa. Uh, sambil menunggu Mbak Veronya uh, kita saya akan menjawab beberapa pertanyaan teman-teman yang akan yang bertanya soal short film pitching project juga di sini. Jadi tadi ada juga yang bertanya sebentar saya lagi lihat ininya. Bentar ya. Oke, okay. yes. Um, kita kami masih mengalami gangguan untuk Oke, okay. masih uh, menunggu karena di sini uh, I have to I have to tell uh, Vero that it's not possible to invite her because her phone. Okay, now I'm step the. Great. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I finally from my phone. Nice, nice to see you. Sorry for being late. <laughs> no, it's okay. We finally made it. <laughs> I was just making, telling everyone about the short film pitching project that we're doing. Actually, so can you hear my voice? Yes. Yes. Okay, I can hear your voice clearly too. So it's good. Thank you so much for finally able to join. <laughs> Yes, I, I was just. I was just yeah, good to see you again. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, I, Vero, maybe you can you can uh, introduce yourself. I was just giving them. Uh, uh, I was telling them that you're coming from the New Horizons uh, International Film Festival in Poland. So probably you could also introduce yourself. Uh, what you're doing at the New Horizons, and then also. What is actually the job as the head of industry events? Mm -hmm. Okay, nice to meet you all who is online. And um, yes, so New Horizons International Film Festival is, uh, is the biggest film festival in Poland. 
and we we are called New Horizons for a reason because we show um, edgy films looking for new new ways of expression and new forms and uh, that's what we specialize in. And uh, every year we, we show almost 300 films. So it's a huge festival and we really try to, to show films from all around the world, obviously. Uh, we have a very um, devoted, amazing audience, young audience, which in modern times so with uh, VOD platforms, it's a big success. And we have uh, over 100,000 uh, viewers uh, attending every year so so you can mm -hmm. imagine the scale mm -hmm. and my position is head of industry events meaning I'm I'm in charge of organizing industry events uh, d during the festival and there are two main events the first mm -hmm. one is a workshop international workshop for young filmmakers uh, from Poland and and Europe Mm, and it's uh, it's really interesting because it's for first and second time filmmakers. Uh, ah. Yes, so it's for du duos of uh, producer and uh, director working together. And this, um, what is very specific about this workshop is that it's that they apply with projects in development, but this. Mm -hmm. uh, workshop is focused mainly on promotion and marketing already at the early stage of development so it's a bit of a different attitude of course we also discuss uh, production packages scripts stories and so on but it's very much about how to promote the project make it visible and how to promote yourself as a filmmaker so mm -hmm. so it's a um, it's a different attitude and then the second um, a big event I organize. It's called Polish Days, and it's yeah. uh, it's a showcase of uh, newest Polish uh, films. We every year we invite uh, over one hundred international guests, um, yeah. festival programmers, sales agents, different institutions, producers interested in co-producing with Poland. Uh, or in Europe, um, and uh, yeah, we invite them to show them the newest Polish productions, finished films, uh, films in production, works in mm. progress, but also films at early stage, earlier stages of, of development. Okay. Mm. So, so you're saying that uh, the, the the Polish days does it also happening during the festival, or yes. is another? Yes. Ah, it's same Both month. events are, are, are going on uh, during festivals, so to be honest, I, mm -hmm. I don't have time to watch any films or to enjoy <laughs> festival at all, because these are big events, uh, you know, Polish yeah. days, it's, uh, I mean, in pre-pandemic times, uh, it used to be like 300 guests, uh, so it's yeah. a huge scale event, now it's around 200, which is, which is big enough, um, um. <laughs> yes, and... Uh, yeah, and if any of you on the other side <laughs> would be interested in co-producing with Poland uh, or mm -hmm. Europe, it's the place to be. So, so um, yeah, feel invited to, to visit if you ever considered collaboration with Poland, which is very um, yeah, prominent uh, film industry at the moment. Yeah. Okay, and, and, and when is the festival is happening, Vero? Uh, from 20 till uh, 30 of uh, July. So, 20 and uh, yeah, the, the end of summer uh, in a beautiful city of Wrocław in the south of Poland. So, it's mm -hmm. also a good uh, holiday destination. <laughs> you can combine <laughs> both. <laughs> that seems good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, so during this event you said that the new filmmaker, especially the first or the second filmmakers, uh, you will give them a support, for example, like uh, developing the promotional or how to promote their film in the beginning. Is, is that also mean to get uh, the funding or maybe if they already have a, some kind of sponsor or like a kind of product placement or something like that? 
Uh, yes, yeah, so we uh, we focus on that in the workshop, New Horizons Studio Plus, uh, right. which is this program for first and second time filmmakers. But of course, our job at Polish Days at this uh, this uh, big event is also to mm -hmm. to facilitate um, yeah production process for producers and also entering international international uh, market. So it's very much about network about making connections and we invite guests um, you know like for example festival directors uh, mm. every year there is uh, Kim Yutani from Sundance or uh, there mm. are programmers you know from Berlinale from Cannes and they are there at the event for Polish film industry to 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 network to to, uh, to be approached, so it's much easier. But at the big events like Berlinale and Cannes, when it, when uh, it's har hardly possible to to reach these people, and and they yeah. when they come to Wrocław, yeah, it's it's. Uh, uh, it's easy, so so we try to facilitate that uh, this networking um, thing. But of course, we also do some uh, type of consultancy, uh, recommending who is the best contact, who could be interested, you know, from foreign producers or institutions mm -hmm. or sales agents, um, which festivals are suitable for the productions. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so that. The people, they could meet the people over there too during this, uh, during the festival, during the New Horizons festival. Exactly, and, and the formula of Polish days it's three days. Uh, the yeah. first day is a rival day. Then on the second and third day there are presentations of the projects in the morning, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. and then. In in the afternoon, there are one-on-one -on -one meetings where decision makers decide who you want to, who they want to meet. But of course, there are many networking events in between, more informal. Yeah. So, if you are determined enough, you can you can approach um, all these very important people. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. Does it open? Does it open also for international filmmakers? Of course, we've ne I've never uh, hosted any, any filmmakers uh, from the region, but you are more than welcome if you are genuinely interested in, in some kind of collaboration. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, usually during, during that days, uh, if someone wants to join Vero, uh, how, how, how do you recommend them to do, do they have to submit their work first or do they have to register themselves? Uh, How does the it work? The best example? way is to, to approach me or to to write to Polish Days uh, Polish Days email, which is on website. Mine is too, mm -hmm. I guess. I mean, we are easy to reach. And uh, yeah, you have to express your your interest in uh, the event in the Polish film industry. European uh, European market and yes, yeah. it's it's not very complicated uh, <laughs> to, okay. to attend. <laughs> okay, and that that open for any kind of film genre or just only the feature length film or is it open also for the documentaries or short animation? No, we are focused on uh, feature length fiction films. Very rarely okay. we show documentaries, but usually these are more like experimental, um, you know, documentaries, not not traditional ones or classic ones, I would say. So, yeah, yeah but we are focused on, on fiction films. Mm. And, and how does, uh, how does the, the, the festival right now after the pandemic, the New Horizons? Mm -hmm. You know, the last edition was uh, was amazing. You know, we had uh, over 100,000 admissions again, so it was very successful. Of oh, course, wow. two years ago, it was still a struggle and with all the restrictions. But I would say yeah. now we are back to, to normal and uh, luckily. So, yes. 
and and you know we are I also would like to mention that we had this online pandemic edition which was also very unique and very successful because our audience proved to be so devoted and so amazing they really participated very actively on uh, um, online and also you know, which is a challenge sometimes with New Horizons uh, uh, co uh, uh, contemplation, uh, slow uh, films, you know, it's, it's, it's really, a it can be a challenge sometimes to watch these films online, but our audience was absolutely amazing. Plus, you know, they have this, uh, uh, this uh, Facebook group uh, where every year mm -hmm. they comment on films and uh, on festival and exchange information and so on. Um, so they were very active, you know, and creating this atmosphere of, uh, of the actual festival online. So, yeah, <laughs> that's the spirit of our <laughs> festival. <laughs> yeah, and, and are you going to do it like, like, like that again, like hybrid again this year? Yes, pr yes, but but our online uh, program is uh, of course very limited. Bec it's becoming more limited because of restrictions of sales agents and producers, who of course everyone yeah. is struggling to get the audience back to to cinema. And so uh, so yes, mm. so yeah, so we still show some films online, but uh, but it's not on a big scale anymore. But we have amazing uh, VOD platform, which we launched um, during pandemic, and it's also doing very well. You know, it's um, it's the biggest art house cinema uh, VOD platform, so it's very unique. I don't know if you have something like that in Indonesia. We did, we did, we we did, we did a kind of uh, a hybrid film festival last year, last edition. But then also uh, during the pandemic, we have to shift everything to a full online format with the with the with the online streaming uh, platform. But we're not using the the local platform. We're using the one uh, that based uh, in Europe actually for Festival mm -hmm. Scope. We are collaborating. Oh, okay. yeah. Yes. Uh, and yeah, with Festival Scope. Yes. So yeah. So this is a, this is actually uh, because. In the beginning, when uh, we are trying to save the festival, uh, the Europe on Screen Festival, uh, we are looking at how the, the international film festival around the globe are doing uh, their shifting. And one of the shifting that we also look is actually your festival, the New Horizons, because we saw that uh, you could do a smooth uh, shift from the offline to online and then online back to a little bit of offline combination with online again. So yeah. <laughs> how do you feel? <laughs> yeah, I mean, how do you feel after um, shifting around this kind of format in, in, in running a film festival? Yeah, we are New Horizons, so we are always up for uh, <laughs> experimenting and, uh, you know, even within the company. Um, so, of course, these years were full of challenges, but, uh, but as I mentioned, you know, for, for us, the, the power of our festival is also the audience, and that's the... Yeah. Uh, that helps us, you know, also to navigate the festival and, and to improve and to develop and so on. Without that, we would be lost. <laughs> um, yeah, but... But, but but of course because we are also uh, having uh, we also have a, a distribution branch and uh, cinema distribution is very important for us so we really try to mm -hmm. combine all activities at the same time bringing the audience back to cinema which is still a struggle post pandemic struggle mm -hmm. uh, in Poland and I think everywhere else uh, yeah. but on on the uh, on the other side, we, we realized, of course, uh, how many opportunities there are with online um, online reality. So with yeah. our VOD platform, we know we reach the places, you know, the people, the audience who would not travel to our festival, but they are able to watch um, 
this very ambitious, um, amazing art house cinema at their homes. So <laughs> that's our part of our mission <laughs> to reach <laughs> as broad as audience as, as possible. Yes, and yes, you, you are right. Uh, here also, I think also valid for all in international film festival around the world that the audience is the one the important factors that we couldn't uh, we couldn't just skip it like that that we have to pay attention to our audience the most that's really yeah that's really our main core for having a film festival and i was just wondering because you told me earlier that you also collaborate with the cinema distributions right and how does it how does it goes now with the cinema distribution at the moment uh, what is the most films that being watch in, in Poland at the moment? Hmm, that's a good uh, question. <laughs> um, <laughs> because no, I, I can see you. Change, but, but you know, it's of course it's commercial cinema, which is, uh, which yeah. is on top, of course, like yeah. everywhere. Mm -hmm. and yeah, also in Indonesia. Yeah, and what is a big struggle for us is um, uh, is that actually in pre-pandemic times, top positions of box office were Polish films, you know, and okay. it was absolutely amazing because they were uh, heading above uh, Hollywood productions, which which oh. has never happened before. But okay. unfortunately, it's not the case uh, anymore now. So it's really about uh, bringing the audience um, to watch Polish films um, again, you know. It's, it's a big, okay. big struggle. So now, uh, yeah. because recently I spoke to, to um, Polish producers alliance and, you know, yeah. together with different um, associations. Mm -hmm. Polish Filmmakers Association and distributors in Poland. They are really working on uh, on um, on the ways to promote Polish cinema, you know, and to bring the audience back. Mm. And which is really surprising, uh, given all the successes of, of Polish cinema, you know, Polish yeah. films travel internationally, uh, you know, like... Uh, in in three years in a row we had oscar nominations uh, so, yeah so but still we have the struggles and and you know we, yeah so that's reality <laughs> there were now 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 i'm curious does it help with the oscar nomination for the film itself for the uh, for the polish titles does it help with their promotion if they are being uh, they are being shortlisted at the at the Oscars. It still does. It still has uh, it still has an impact here. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> and of course, I mean here. Uh, art... Sorry, sorry. Tell me. <laughs> yeah. How is it? How is it there? No, I mean, I mean, for Indonesia here, yeah, at at, at the moment, uh, we have a lot of. Uh, we are we actually still have one more than one hundred title pending to be screened at the cinema due to the to the pandemic, and and now everyone is starting to release the films, uh, not only via uh, commercial cinema or public cinema distribution, mm -hmm. but also uh, via online platform uh, streaming. Meaning, um, but yeah, what we still have a lot of Indonesian film that's still pending, waiting to be uh, screened because we have very lack of uh, number of screens in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. uh, but then again, most of the, as you say, most of the commercial cinema uh, are dominated with uh, blockbuster Hollywood films. Um, so yeah, that's what's happening in Indonesia. Yeah, yeah, and that's not easy to compete with, but yeah, <laughs> we are trying, right? <laughs> and you know, especially in Poland at this time of year when the spring has come and sun is shining, it's even <laughs> more difficult to bring uh, people to, to cinemas. Mm -hmm. Because everyone wants to stay outside after a long, long winter. <laughs> so we also face this type of problems. <laughs> yeah, and that, and that is actually uh, my next question. And how will you get the people to watch your 
festival there because it will be in July. It will be in uh, summer, no? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so as I mentioned, luckily we have this um, this young audience who uh, these are people in late twenties, early thirties, mainly, and of course older and younger too. But this is like our main uh, main audience. So these are people who usually combine uh, holidays with uh, you know with with coming to our festival because it's summertime. It's it's you know people who who are who, some of them are students or they they still have some freedom if they draw in the job so so luckily you know it's it's an attractive um, that's why i mentioned before that it's also a good holiday destination it's an attractive uh, place to be in summer it's a super beautiful city usually we have wonderful weather um so mm. people are willing you know to to attend the event we also have a uh, open uh, open air um uh, open air uh, <laughs> Yeah, in the main square of the city, which is uh, which is also amazing because it's always full, <laughs> full room, <laughs> even if it's uh, it's open screening and in the square. Uh, yeah, and of course, um, yeah. So luckily, luckily we. But of course, it's a it's a work of our promotion office all year long uh, about promoting, uh, about communicating um, our program in a right way and so on. So it's all year effort. Mm. Of course, uh, I mean it takes a village to to create a film festival, just like. Uh, if you want to produce a film, you need to work in a uh, advance <laughs> before the festival yeah. could take place. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you, you you said earlier that it is it has been a wonderful years for Polish film. It has been uh, three years in a row being nominated for Oscar too. So maybe you could you could let us know what what are the the main three characters of Polish film that makes it stands out? I really like this question. I would be, <laughs> I would be interested what, what my uh, colleagues and what filmmakers would say. But uh, for me, um, it's, it's pretty easy. Uh, for sure, we are very famous for cinematography. And I think it's yes. very unique. We have this amazing film schools um, in Poland who educate uh, cinematographers who are world famous and and the style is very unique, I would say. So mm -hmm. also, it's, if any of you uh, is looking for ta cinematography talent, I think Poland is really uh, the place. And uh, and I know about some collaborations, for example, of my uh, Japanese director friend. He has been mm -hmm. uh, working with a Polish cinematographer on Japanese films for years now, you know, and it's it's been very successful collaboration. So I would say this yeah. then I think we are really uh, good at making dramas and I think our reputation when I talk to sales agents or, or programmers uh, they always comment on that I mean of course they also comment it would be nice to see some lighter <laughs> maybe more uh, <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> lighter <laughs> films from Poland too, <laughs> but at the same time, I really appreciate that <laughs> that we are very good at psychological uh, cinema and and drama, social dramas, and and so on. And and I think it's it's very unique and and um, very strong. And the third thing I would say it's also this uh, very strong. Uh, outdoor voices and you know it changed in last yeah. like 10 years Polish cinema um, I must say also um, thanks to Polish Film Institute uh, which uh, supports certain projects and is open to to support different varied, uh, varied projects you know uh, more and more and thanks to that I think yeah like the strong outdoor voices um, is, is also something that makes us visible internationally. Mm. <laughs> I think also the, the, the courageous and the bravery to tell the story that 
sometimes out of the box you 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 feel that it is an ordinary story but how you 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 guys are able to see it from another perspective and how to make the character stands out the plotting i think that's also what makes a I okay, get the Polish films are very good and even more like three years in a row getting shortlisted in the Oscar. It's it's quite hard to <laughs> to beat yeah. that, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, since, <laughs> since you also been scouting all the new filmmakers and also uh, especially the one that uh, the works can uh, fit with your festival more do you have like uh, someone that you are eyeing at the moment like your recent uh, polish filmmakers that you think uh, he or she is going to you know be brighter <laughs> later <laughs> on like, like i'm sure I'm I'm looking forward to see uh, younger filmmakers uh, work actually these days like maybe they have a, 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 a I don't know a very attractive way of of telling stories that is probably less depressing probably <laughs> <laughs> Yes um <laughs> Yeah, I mean, for sure, one uh, one uh, name which comes directly to my mind uh, is uh, is Damian Kocur. Um, it's uh, his film Bread and Salt uh, was uh, was in Venice last year, um, and um, yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's it's a Yeah, it's a very interesting filmmaker because he has actually a cinematography background, um, and he does oh. more. Yeah, like he he works with non actors, and in a bit of a documentary style. Um, it's very specific uh, way of filmmaking, uh, which is not always easy, and I think it might be very challenging for producers. Um, but he's very consistent for years because I know I followed him since he he made his short films. They were in a similar style. Mm -hmm. Already he's very consistent during the years. So now he's I know he's he will be shooting next film in uh, in autumn. So we are all looking forward what comes next because the Bread and Salt was his debut film. Um, Yeah, and there are many, many titles and projects in development. Uh, you know, first of first-time filmmakers. I'm very happy to see many female uh, filmmakers also developing uh, promising debut mm -hmm. film. Uh, so yeah, many talents mm -hmm. to to follow. Mm, but from mm. more established uh, filmmakers, I would like to uh, mention uh, also um, Agnieszka Smoczyńska, who had her film yeah. Silent Twins in Cannes last year, and, and she's working on a new project, which yeah. will be her, her yeah. third film. Uh, and, and also Anna Jadowska, Uh, who had her film in Tribeca last year, Woman on the Roof. Um, and uh, she already made, oh, I think, three or four films. Um, so, so these are very interesting names to follow. <laughs> But of course, there are many yes. more. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course, there are many more. But uh, these are these are the names that uh, recently makes uh, Polish films even more uh, shining. I think also in in the in the terms of world international films, right? So especially for the sales, especially for uh, being accepted in in another distribution around the globe, not only in Europe, but then uh, not only in Poland, but then also even more to other to other countries on continent. Exactly. Yes, and uh, just uh, maybe this is just like uh, out of my curiosity. What is the most topic or stories that being brought up by recent Polish filmmakers these days? Hmm. 
Is I it more solid mesa or? Can you repeat? I didn't. I didn't hear. Uh, I, I was just thinking uh, maybe because of the COVID or the pandemic, does does their feel evolve around that or more into mental health or or how the society works or what 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 kind of stories that uh, trade most after during these days after the pandemic? Mm -hmm. I, to be honest, I don't have the impression that pandemic um, changed uh, the filmmakers here so much. I mean, I think what I what I see and I'm really happy about is um, that there is more and more, uh, I would say, like social issues, um, films, you know, films ta tackling some uh, some yeah some issues as you said, mental health or or some rare diseases or um you know and and yeah that is because we have this tradition in poland of social uh, dramas but but you know mm -hmm. recently this, this genre wasn't that popular but what i see now it's that there are more and more Mm, films being made which tackle uh, tackle these issues, also inclusion, also um, also minority rights, uh, difficult uh, subjects in Poland like abortion, for example. You know, so um, yeah. So I would say that is yeah that is a, a big change, and and we we yeah. are very happy it like to but you know the subjects are also being brought to discussion through films mm. okay yes uh, are there are there any specific titles that you would recommend our audience here to watch from the from your favorite polish film <laughs> of all times or recent or because yeah, of all time it doesn't have to be the new it's a very, it's a very, very difficult question. <laughs> so many. <laughs> um, yeah, of course, because we have uh, such a great uh, tradition and all the old masters of Polish cinema, which uh, you might know some of them, of course, I hope, like Kieślowski, Wajda. Um, uh, and um, yeah, so of course, there are, there are beautiful uh, old films I would recommend. Um, but from recent uh, films made by old master i would recommend you to see eo uh, it's a film which was also nominated for oscars and it was in Cannes last year it's by uh, mm -hmm. it's a very unique and yeah film i don't know if you've seen it uh, but it's uh, it's very fresh uh, <laughs> film made by men in his uh, yeah in his I don't know how old is he probably eighty something so but it's the cinema is I think very um, daring and and fresh in many ways so for sure this uh, of course films by Andrzej Wajda I have to I have to mention and there are so many amazing films our classic national classic uh, film. Um, um, uh, which I would like to mention is uh, is Ashes and Diamonds, uh, which and is Diamond, very important. Yeah. Yes, film for for um, for generations, I would say. Um, I also would like to mention the director who is not that uh, internationally known, but is is very. Mm -hmm. Uh, very um, popular in Poland, and it's a yeah. it's a very interesting case because he's a very ambitious uh, uh, art house uh, filmmaker, but he uh, reaches a top box box office you know with his films which is amazing and you can watch one of his films i don't know if, if in, your, in your region but i know in netflix you can watch the, you can maybe find the film rose by uh, wojciech smarzowski and uh, he's a yeah smarzowski uh, not an easy <laughs> surname but he's very <laughs> Polish um, at heart, I would say, in many ways. So if you want to uh, know more about Polish mentality and, and uh, culture, mm -hmm. society, 
I think he he's very cruel also to us in many ways portraying Poland but at the same time I think um, yeah there is something truthful to his films um, okay. yeah the, when I from younger generation I want to mention Jan Komasa um, and uh, his, yeah his film Film Corpus Christi was nominated uh, oh, yes. Oscars recently. Yes, and, uh, I think he he's a very interesting filmmaker of younger generation, meaning in his forties. Yeah. Um, he's in his forties. Of course, Paweł Pawlikowski, Ida, uh, also yeah. Uh, yeah, Oscar um, Oscar film, uh, very unique. Yeah. Um, very Polish. And I think we, we, screened, we screened Corpus Christi and Ida in our festival actually because uh, because it was very good. <laughs> we couldn't, yeah. we could not screen it. You know, we have to have festival. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's amazing. Also Cold War, which uh, was his next film. Yes, also. War also. Mm -hmm. yes Cold War. It was, it was also one of the films that got sold out pretty much quick <laughs> nice. everybody wants to see it yes i <laughs> good to hear wonderful <laughs> <Okay>. yeah <laughs> so yeah so thank you i understand that you are busy uh, preparing for your upcoming festival in july it's like uh, three months late that's only mm. probably no see me yeah yeah, now the big wave of uh, of preparations is coming. <laughs> yes, and how how many how many submissions until today that has been that you have received for the films? Mm, I don't know at the moment. <laughs> I don't know, but but uh, yeah, many 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 many. Plus, on top, you know, uh, our programming team is also. Has have have been traveling since uh, yeah since last summer yeah. already you know to to look for films and for talents and so on so besides submissions which is a lot every year we are also you know doing our research always Stop. yes 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 <laughs> so yes uh, please let us know again. Uh, if they, if if the audience here or the filmmakers in Indonesia, if they want to submit their film, where can they go? They can go to the New Horizons uh, social media account or website or something. Maybe you can share Probably the. the because the um, uh, you know the deadline is gone because it, you know it's yeah but it's, maybe for uh, the next year the next for edition next year, of course yes 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 because of course it's for us it's already late here i i should yeah. um, the horizontal. um yeah so of course you can go to our web page and submit uh submit the film through our web page uh, and approach us to I mean so me or somebody from programming team always um, we travel a lot so so it's possible to meet with us of course um, yeah and um, and uh, as I as I mentioned before yeah if, if anyone considered collaborating with Poland and and you know because Polish producers are and also Polish Film Institute is, is more and more open to also to co-production as I mentioned, uh, so oh. it's not an abstract uh, abstract thing because there are co-production grants possibilities uh, also tax intensives uh, in Poland, yeah. um, so it's it's it's. Um, uh, yeah, it's possible and there are, recently there were uh, some co with uh, with Latin America or Singapore or you know not not uh, like obvious uh, obvious uh, destinations for 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 us but it's happening so keep that in mind please <laughs> Yes. So then, the, uh, so everyone, if you want to do the co-production with Poland uh, film industry, you could also do it by contacting at the Polish Film Institute, right? And then for your festival, if they want to submit 
their work for the next edition because this year has been closed. They can go to www. I hope I say it right. Novi Novi horizonti.pl is that correct yeah perfect <laughs> perfect <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you so much veronica thank you for spending a little bit of your time i know that you're being busy uh, to talk with us here in indonesia to share your experience to share your love for films and then also to introduce us about the new horizons international film festival in poland Thank you again uh, for inviting me and see you in Cannes, right? <laughs> yes. Yes, I'll see you in Cannes. I hope to see you soon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, Vero. I have a good day ahead. Thank you. The same for you. <laughs> Bye. 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 So yes, everyone, that was our talk with Veronika Zonowska, uh, Kapala, uh, the head of the film industry, uh, industry events at the New Horizons International Film Festival in Poland. Um, as you already explained earlier, that the closing, uh, the, op the submission for their uh, edition in July is actually closed at the moment, but you can actually uh, contact them again at the www website nya di sini ada uh, www.novihorizonti.pl uh, bisa dilihat nanti di dicek untuk New Horizons uh, International Film Festival di Poland dan mereka juga terbuka sorry I'm, <laughs> sorry ya agak bilingual <laughs> switch, switch ke bahasa Inggris bahasa Indonesia ya yeah, mereka juga terbuka untuk co-production so they are also open for co-production you can also contact them at the Polish Film Institute because they are opening for co-production, I understand that some of Indonesian film has started to look for uh, shooting location abroad again, especially in European countries, because we are now already eligible to have a co-production with other countries to support Indonesian film uh, industry. So yes, tadi seperti di awal juga saya sudah katakan bahwa kita masih terbuka untuk short film pitching project EOS 2023. Please register uh, registration is almost free of charge everything is free of charge you just need to fill in your uh, new ideas about your next short films uh, apa sih oh, ada beberapa pertanyaan yang masuk juga apa sih yang dicari biasanya dari ide ceritanya kami mencari ide cerita yang masuk akal tidak terlalu heboh tidak uh, dan juga bisa mungkin heboh bisa tak heboh atau uh, mungkin ceritanya wah ini kayaknya ceritanya nggak masuk akal apa segala macam bisa jadi sebuah ide cerita film yang oke okay juga selama dia bisa dieksekusi. Jadi ketika kalian memikirkan ide cerita film apa yang ingin didaftarkan, tolong dipikirkan juga bahwa, oh ya yeah, film ini nanti dibuatnya uh, di Indonesia, kami kira sudah tahu kira-kira budgetnya berapa, uh, lalu produksinya seperti apa, jadi kita juga melihat bahwa apakah cerita-cerita yang diangkat se apa, menarik, itu sangat bagus, bila ceritanya menarik dan bagus, itu pasti uh, sudah menjadi salah satu nilai tambahan tapi kita juga akan melihat apakah film ide cerita film ini bisa dieksekusi atau tidak jadi uh, tolong dipikirkan itu juga ketika kalian mau mendaftar ke short film pitching project Europe on Screen 2023 masih terbuka jangan takut masih ada kesempatan masih ada seminggu lagi tapi nya tanggal 30 kami akan tutup short film pitching project EOS 2023 and then in the meantime, enjoy the third Lebaran holiday with your family and loved one. And then I'll see you guys again at the next edition of Road to Europe on Screen 2020 Instagram Live on Thursday. Ciao!